Monty here and welcome to another unboxing video. So today I will be unboxing Odin Sphere Lesbosphere Storybook Edition. Now before I go and unbox this, let me tell you a little story of how I discovered this game and how GameStop kind of screwed me over. Well, it was actually last Monday where I went to GameStop to go and pre-order Final Fantasy XV. Now, when I got to the counter, the guy was busy on the phone talking to a customer. And while I was waiting, um, I looked at the little TV where they were advertising some games, and this game popped up. And I was looking at the gameplay, and I was like, wow! This literally looks like a more Master game that I played on the Vita, which you can also get on the Wii. And the gameplay style um, caught my interest, and I was like, I really wanted to pre-order this game. So I did the obviously. Uh, when the guy got off the phone with the customer, he got to me, I told him I want to pre-order Final Fantasy XV, and I told him I want to pre-order that Odin game. So. I put five dollars down and I left. What I did not know was that the game was literally coming out the next day, but I was actually unaware of. Um, it wasn't until like um, Friday that um, I got a subscription update from the Happy Console Gamer where he did his first um, impression on this game. And the whole time I was watching this video, I was like, I did not know this game already came out. So, I looked at my phone, like, this game came out on Tuesday. Um, so, uh, why didn't GameStop contact me saying, hey, this game was coming out tomorrow? Or at least the um, guy at the desk would tell me, um, yeah, this game came out tomorrow, but... I'm sure it was a simple mistake, but this isn't the first time I got screwed over by GameStop with pre-orders. Um, technically, GameStop does not um, uh, message you or call you when, when the game you pre-order comes out the next day. They used to, but apparently not anymore, and then I think that's been going on for the past year or two now, and it really pisses me off. Um, but enough about that, um, I'll probably talk a bit more in another video. But um, I ended up calling GameStop and, and I talked to a lady at the store and I told her, hey, I was not aware this game was already out and I pre-ordered. And she was like, okay, um, when do you think you can come and pick up this game? And to be honest, I told her, I told her um, I'll be glad to pick it up next Thursday because Thursday's when I got paid. Um, she told me um, she can't hold the game for that long. The longest she can hold it was Monday. And I told her, fine, I can go and pick it up on Monday. Except I didn't. A couple hours later on Friday, I went on Amazon and found out, wow, there's a special edition of this game. And I can get this game for 20% off, which is basically how much the regular game will cost, the regular dish. So I was like, wow, hmm, $67, hmm. I was like, screw it, let's do it. And I bought it. And I just got it in the mail yesterday. And um, now, and that's my story. I'm probably not going to be pre-ordering from GameStop anymore. Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 15 might be my last game I pre-order from them because look I like to be messaged when the game is coming out like I don't mind two days from now next day I don't care GameStop please let me know when my game I pre-order is about to come out so I can plan out my day go and pick it up go home and enjoy my game so that said no further ado, let's go unbox this game. 
All right, so here we go. Odin Sphere, Legend Sphere, Storybook Edition. And the way they look like in the front of the box cover, looks like they're doing their regular pose looking cool for the camera. But the art does look nice though. Five angel woven tails, breathtaking art, completely redrawn graphics. And the game is ready teen for fantasy violence, Maya blood, partial nudity. I thought when it has partial nudity, it makes it an automatic, automatic mature rated game. Hmm. I guess not. And use of alcohol. All right. So I guess no further ado, let's open this sucker up. Oh my, I love that little piece of plaque that's sticking out. It makes things a whole lot easier to open. It's been a while since I bought an American um, game that the box is this big. Oh, ooh, wow. I, I like that. <laughs> that's really colorful. Wow, I really do like that. And let's slide this open. And here we are. We got, ooh, a steel case for. Oh, that's for your game. I thought that would be a book. But let's look at the steel case. That's really nice. Well, that's pretty much the box art right there. But I like this one more. Wow. It's beautiful. And here we have the game. And what else? Ooh, a t-shirt. Um, let's open the t-shirt up real quick. Oh, I hit the camera. <laughs> oh, do I really want to open this? Oh, I'll, I'll open it and put it back in. I don't think I'm going to wear it, though. Let's put you to the side. Just want to see what the shirt looks like. Let's see. Let's see. All right, there we go. And there you have it, folks. The T-shirt. Let me let me take this the camera off the stand. Yeah. I guess that's supposed to be telling me something about. I think alchemy but the picture is literally so small I mean look at all the space that you're you could be using that's such a small picture for such a big shirt how big is this shirt it is a dart large I actually usually wear extra large because I have big shoulders but eh. They could have put, they could have done more detail for the shirt, or make this logos a bit bigger. I mean, seriously, and that's really my only complaint. <laughs> but I'm sure this math is supposed to be telling me something. Who knows? Okay, so my complaint so far is the logo is not big enough. You're wasting so much space. Uh, let's see what else is in the box. Let's see. Ooh, we got, um, I guess we got some pictures here. Oh, oh cute little girl with a black cat. Oh, and it looks like it's, oh, it's, that's it. I guess you could frame this, put it on a wall. Maybe if your grandma likes cats and a sweet little girl, this could be used for your grandma's house. So that's okay. Right there. And there we have an art book, which is what I totally expected since it says here the storybook edition. So I'm actually expecting an art book or something. Let's open this up. Uh, let's see. Again, that's the cover they use, that's the picture they use in the front cover. Oh! So this is not just a art book. They have some text in here for you to read. Okay. Oh, this is this is a thank you letter from I guess from the developers. Oh wow, this is actually interesting. 
Whoa! Okay. Right, well, this is the world part. This. This is, what I, this is what we need in art books. Give me details about the characters and the design. And a text telling me about the characters. There's been a couple art books that came with the games that they said show your picture and that's it, but I'm glad to give us a paragraph about the characters. This is nice. I like this a lot. And why does that rabbit remind me of Rocket Knight? I don't know. Does, does anybody out there think this character reminds you of Rocket Knight? Oh, maybe it's a sword. <laughs> Oh wow, that's like that painting. Oh, okay. Wow, maybe I can play this for Furry Friday. <laughs> well, I really do like this book so far. Wow. I, I like it a lot. I, I can't wait to go through it. And next, we, it's the game. All right, let's open up the game. Maybe we get a manual. Who knows? And there we go. Nope, no manual. It's just a disc. That's okay. Yep. All right, so. I guess that's it. Oh, wait, we got something back here. Well, let's put the box on and look at the whole thing. Oh, no way, I hit the camera again, but look at that. There's more art, there's artwork all over this box. Oh, man. Ah, okay. <laughs> but, I've, my gosh. So, they're all dedicated to art here. Nice. All right. Maybe I should have showed you this box first instead. Oh well. Yeah, and so and we got a map back here. Oh, I have it upside down. Okay, that makes much more sense. All right. So I guess my final thoughts on this is that um, it this box um this box it's okay. It, it has great art. I'll give it that. And um. The only thing I have a problem with is, is the shirt. Um, it's a it's an adult large shirt, but it, it they use such a, a logo. Is, it, the logo is so small, and they could have made it a little bit bigger or use a different picture for the shirt and enlarge enlarge it. Cause I like if if I'm gonna have a T-shirt, I want something to cover up the whole thing, not such a a small amount of space so yeah I probably will never wear this shirt it's probably gonna stay in the box and now I'm gonna show you some gameplay footage and if you're interested in getting the storybook edition set instead of the um, regular edition I guess it's kind of worth it if you really do like art so I guess that's it for now this is the video gamer hunter and here's some gameplay footage Zelda! <coughs> Gwendolyn. It's so quiet now. The sound of battle seems so far away. It seems I cannot follow my king into the final battle. No, don't give up. Gwendolyn. Please take this. I have no use for it now. This spear has slain many foes, making a mountain of corpses. The king 
father will undoubtedly praise my actions. I'm sure he will. Do I see tears in your eyes? You're too kind, sister. Please, do not cry. Your older sister will leave the world as a great warrior. It is so dark here. Gwendolyn, I can't see you. Thank you for watching my video. Please give it a like and subscribe for more videos. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and DeviantArt. If you have some free time on your hands, please check out the console explosion and other features on the site. Well, again, until next time, goodbye.